Welcome back to our podcast interview series. I'm Coach Molly from Visibility Hacking Studios, and let's get into it. Today, we're talking about how to structure your podcast episode when you're bringing on an interview. The best interviews, whether they're on podcasts, on live TV, on live shows, it doesn't matter. The best interviews show us the art and the science of storytelling. And so in today's video, I want to show you how to harness those for your own shows. We're going to talk about the step you cannot miss. We'll talk about the three-part formula that builds great episodes. And we'll talk about the wrap-up that builds essential social proof. So for this and more, roll that intro. So we touched on this in our last episode. If you haven't checked it out, check it out above where we talked about what you need to know in order to prepare for an interview. So when it comes to structuring your episode, we talked about interview questions, doing that big funnel. Same thing applies when you're getting into your interview. You want to start with more broad questions before you get more specific. If you're setting the tone before you actually bring your guest on, you're doing a solo intro, for example. You want to start by being quite broad before you get more specific in your topic. This actually applies whether you have a guest interview or you're doing a solo episode. We always want to guide our people from the broadest, uh, the broadest understanding of the topic to more specific in what you're talking about. It'll ensure that no matter where customers are in their journey in your topic or your niche or your industry, they, they can all get to what the value is in your interview together because you've guided them through just, just the process they need. In other words, you're building that epiphany bridge. You're building the story bridge that's going to help get them from where they are in terms of their understanding of the topic now to where they need to be in order to get the value out of the interview. Question of the day. I'm curious. Do you prep your intros for your guests? Do you do them ahead of time? Do you wing it? How do you do it? Do you hand it off to your guests? Let me know down in the comments. Structuring your episodes and your interviews, super easy. Three-step process. First, You have to set the scene. That means you have to lay the foundation, whether it's starting with your more broad and getting more specific introductions, whether you're telling a story to set up the interview and explain to your people why they should pay attention. Maybe tell them the story of how you came to realize that this guest would be really interesting for them to hear. Tell them your Epiphany Bridge story. Second part of the episode plan would be the meat of the episode. Whether you're doing a solo episode, whether you have segments in your show, whether you're doing an interview, what is the big value take home? What is that big meat of the sandwich of your show? What is it that people are actually tuning in for. And then the final part of the process is the close. So many podcasters forget to use the close as an opportunity. It's an opportunity to invite your listeners to do something else, to do the next step. Because if a listener has paid attention to your episode all the way through the meat of the content and is now in the final moments of your episode, they are considered a captive audience presenting to them the next possible steps for them to take is a no-brainer. So don't forget it. This is where you're going to ask them to join your mailing list or to sign up for your newsletter or to uh, get the new freebie or the tool or to sign up for your community. Whatever it is, it's the opportunity and the ask for them to take the next step. For example, if you're already at this point in the video today, then I think you care about building your brand's visibility, whether it's with interviews, whether it's with podcasts or live shows or whatever. If you care about boosting your visibility to connect with your ideal customers, then I invite you to hit the subscribe button and join us here on the channel. Calls to action are also a fantastic way to build social proof. 
So for example, you have someone on your show for an interview and you're talking about can more confidence. We do this a lot in the visibility hacking world. So we have someone, we come on and we, we're talking about can more confidence. Now in my episode, either myself or my guest gives a call to action to our audience and they say, I want you to create a short video where you're looking at yourself, a selfie video where you call out your name, you call out your movement and you tell us that you are a badass. We'll call it our badass videos. So you, you do that as your call to action. It doesn't have to be sign up for my mailing list, whatever. It can be post your badass video with hashtag visibility badass. Now you're going to see a wave of your audience members participating in that challenge, posting their badass videos, and you're all going to, their audience is going to see it, et cetera, et cetera. It's a fantastic way to build social proof around your movement without making your people feel pressured to always take a call to action that's asking them to buy something or asking them to give you something. It's much more fun. It's much more interactive, and it's something that you can leverage in your movement. We talked about a lot today. We've talked about a lot in this series and we still have more to talk about. So first, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Second, go head over to the Visibility Vault because I've put in there a interview preparation checklist. Everything that you need to know that you can just check right on off as you go through and prepare for your interviews, as you go through your interviews, and as you finalize your episode and get them ready to be launched. I love building those kinds of tools that will help you expedite your podcast and your live show and your connection machine. So head over to visibilityhacking.com slash calling my shot. You'll be able to get into the visibility vault from there absolutely free. Check out all of the tools, including the interview checklist just for you. And until I see you again, my friends, remember, I love you, be excellent to each other, and just go live. Your people are out there waiting for you.